Welcome to this wonderful Wednesday. I know you can't see it, but behind our camera here, our room is still overflowing with leather that we are working to move out of here since our crazy Cyber Monday live sale. I heard um, it was really crazy. It was really crazy. We were here until about six o'clock selling. Oh left about 6 30 but that is great and awesome um thank you to everyone that joined us if you are joining us now again um but today we are continuing progress on denny's sweetheart purse so um last week we just did a couple tooling videos so yeah. you did some carving and mm -hmm. then you did the rest of it so we now have two completed front and back panels which have been antiqued which have been antiqued with cordovan Cordovan paste. Yes. Cordovan paste. Yeah, Cordovan paste, um, which will, is matching our beautiful maroon kangaroo lace that Denny is using to lace it up. And so he's already kind of assembled the uh, front panel here, so we'll talk about that real fast, and then he will work on the back panel live. So I'm going to help him lace today. You want to go to the overhead? Okay. Last week I showed you the front, Whoops. the actual front panel. And I showed you the, the liner panel, which is on the inside, and it has a pocket. Mm -hmm. I've cemented those together, and then I, after they were cemented, I uh, I actually punched the holes, or lacing holes. Yeah, and so we've got that on the front and the back. Everything's yes. all punched out. And after they were punched, then I trimmed it off. Okay. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> everybody has trouble figuring out how long to make their gusset. So what I did, since I've never made this bag before, what I did was uh, I decided a, a point here where I wanted my gusset to end. Okay. Right? I made myself a little pencil mark right there. Then from this, uh, let's go with this one. Okay. With this center hole down here, the very center at the bottom, I counted. And if y'all don't want to count, you don't have to. You can just guess at it and see how close you can come. <laughs> But I counted all the way around here, and I came up with 55 holes from the exact center to where I want my gusset to end. Okay. Correct? Then I did the same thing on this side. I, I counted 55 holes to right here. See, I even wrote 55. You sure did. Here on each side. Because you'd already glued the lining on, right? Yes, I okay. glued the lining on yeah. and, and punched the holes. Okay. So I got 55 holes from the center. Each, going each direction. Right. So, I I made my little gusset, which which is two and a half inches wide, two by the way. Two and a half, okay. And I just took a cloth tape and measured around here and came up with around 30 inches. That's a little bit long. Okay. So, then I folded it in half and found my center point. And then you punched right. 55 holes. I punched 55 <laughs> holes going each direction on both <laughs> sides. Right? And that, that gave me to right here. Then I folded. So this is just a two and a half inch rectangle. There's nothing fancy There's about it. Nothing fancy okay. about it. But at 55, then I came up about about a hole's width and made a fold there mm -hmm. and cemented it down. Okay. So I have a finished edge at the top of the gusset. So we have 55 holes here on each side. We have 55 holes here on each side. So when we lace them up, Everything should match up. You're you're going to be lacing this side, <laughs> and you're going to find out how well I counted. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. And so when when Denny installed, before he glued this on, he installed his little front clasp. So for whatever clasp you're using, make sure that if it needs to be installed, like these brackets are not very pleasing yeah, to the eye. I could have done it after, but. Like you say, it's not very clean. Yeah, so if there's like a washer that goes on and then you fold the brackets over, it'll catch on stuff. It's not great. So you want to make sure that depending on the style of fastener that you're using, you figure out if you need to install it for your post liner. So Denny right. needed to do it beforehand, and he remembered to do that. And we are matching today. That's, Somebody said that. Oh yeah. I know. That. What are we wearing We're tomorrow? just the same. <laughs> We'll, we'll reconvene for Friday, okay. so make sure to match there. Oh, I'm not going to be here Friday. Oh, right, because you just said something about the fridge. This fridge is going to get fixed. The fridge, and I've got it. I've got an appointment on my shoulder. Oh, yeah, the surgery. Yeah, they consult. aren't going to do the surgery no. yet. They're going to tell me that they're going to do the surgery and when. Poor Denny. So, yes, poor Denny. No, he's such a pitiful little guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
So install your hardware. Um, and then on the back here, before Denny glued together his his back lining, he also installed the hardware that he had assembled for the strap. Yeah. So. And the strap is going to be a deal where if, if you don't want to use the strap, you don't have to because it just has two little snap clips. Yep. Otherwise, you just put it on your arm. Yeah. And everything's all nice and hidden back here, so it'll all just stay. You can take the strap off or put it right. on or whatever you want right. to do. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So okay. now what? Now, I've got you started lacing. I'm lacing. And here's a pair of pliers if you need them because okay. I've been using them because my fingers were getting really sore. I feel that. I, I hand sewed a whole belt this weekend. I've never done that before. Um, but Emma asked me oh, to yeah. make a belt for her significant other. She's doing good, but she did just lose Oscar. Oh, so, if no. anybody out there remembers the cute little corgi that worked here many, many years ago, um, I think she's been gone for, it was a little bit before COVID, so maybe 2019, yeah. I think, was her last year that she worked here with little Oscar the corgi, and he passed away uh, while I was in Vegas, so that was a bummer. That's too bad. Yeah. But, anyways, okay, I'm lacing. Okay, you're lacing, and I'm going to trim this if you guys want to watch this. Would love to watch you trim. And the beauty of lacing these edges instead of stitching them is the edge is going to be perfect. I That's right. Have, I don't have to bevel, I don't have to sand. Well, and let's talk about your glue job here, because we are lacing. Yeah, and we had questions about that uh, last week. Mm -hmm. Like, he was lacing a belt, and he said, should I glue all the way out to the edge? And <clears throat> when, I, when I do something like this, I don't necessarily glue all the way out to the edge, but I kind of give it a swipe, you know, with the brush. If right. I don't get it very good, that's great. Right. Because you're going to have to splice and you need to get between those layers of leather. But And plus with the lace, you're covering everything up. Right. So it's not like you're sanding and finishing and you need that perfectly glued together edge so that you can put a great burnish on it. Yeah. It's not, it's actually hindrance yes. to the lacing. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're getting a perfect edge right now. Exactly. Yeah. This I'm pulling this, uh... This gusset piece, I'm actually pulling it over my edge. Yeah, it pulls over a bit. Yeah, so that it's kind of covering up some of it, and so then you're just kind of left. Yeah. That that actually looks really good right there. Let's look at that. So as I'm lacing, this this is just a piece of, like, sensation upholstery, and it's pulling over this edge so that then um, you don't see the veg tan here. Yeah, they can kind of see it up here. Yeah. So you can see how it's it's covering that a little bit, and then the lacing covers up the rest of that edge. Yeah, yeah by how rights, far? by rights, if if you do a, <clears throat> a pretty good lacing job, you won't see any of that edge. Yeah. Um. How? Uh, what was your width here on your on your hole punching? I don't know. I just used a regular eighth inch. Oh no no no! I mean, like from the edge. Oh, approximately an eighth of an inch. An eighth or a quarter? It looks like a quarter of an inch. It might be. It's a. It's about a quarter of an inch. It might be. So he punched it. If you want to get finicky about it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, you know, and and that's the beauty of using a, a real drapey uh, gusset material. Yeah, you don't have to be real perfect on it because it's going to bunch up and scrunch and. Going to bunch and scrunch and do its thing. And, okay. All right. Christine, there's just veg tan, so I think you might have just even used an import leather, or maybe just a, maybe, maybe even Herman Oak, just a thin, probably like a two to three ounce. On the liner? On the liner. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's all veg tan except for this gusset. Yeah, you can use anything you want to for the liner. Yeah. You can use anything you want to for the front, you know, but if you're going to tool it, you definitely want to use a veg tan leather. <clears throat> oh, hey Tony, can you hit four? I 
Maybe I can convince Kevin to do a video on Friday since I let him off the hook today. And last Friday. Oh yeah, today was supposed to be round table. Mm-hmm. But it's a little too crazy here for a round table. Table is square today. <laughs> it's a it's a rectangular table today. The other one I used to round in punch to a little tight deal. Like I said, you don't have to be so perfect when you're going to lace the edge. So hey Tony, it, do you feel like the pattern is good, or do you need to do some stuff on it? I don't know if you've looked at it yet. I think we've almost got the pattern ready. Um, the guy's got it all scanned in and we just need to double check it. We don't have like a cover photo or anything because obviously the bag isn't done yet because this is the first one that we've ever made. Yeah. <laughs> number one, maybe number the last. Okay, and I need to go get another lace to do. You guys watch, watch a little oh, lace. Hey. Oh, we have lace. Yeah, up there on the magnet. Remember, he made us that handy, handy dandy magnet. Yes, I do. <clears throat> what are you laughing about over there? Oh, we were laughing at you, not with you. <laughs> what did I do now? Yeah. There was a comment on was Facebook. Was some spam. Some spam comment was, my WhatsApp says whatever, so I typed in, nobody cares. And then I banned them. <laughs> 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 All right. Denny, why are you wandering aimlessly? <laughs> because I aimlessly forgot half the tools I needed, so you I have to something? hunt no. them down. I found the tool I because lost it, it was here. Thanks for the follow. Now I'm going to thread this lace and needle. If anyone wants to watch this, this is overhead. Oh, over right. over here. Thanks. Okay, I've I've thinned down this edge of this needle or this <clears throat> piece of lace. You don't have to do that, but I do because I feel like it doesn't make quite as much of a lump going through those. Yeah. Those if Kevin was here, Kevin would be lacing completely different than the way I lace. Well, he's special, you know. He is. Kevin, and Kevin is a very good lacer. I mean, he laces while it's going 80 miles an hour across Kansas. Luna, so that's the only thing that's happening. Caps, Luna. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Stryker, we don't want to sell boot lasts. I think District has them. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's like a whole other warehouse of inventory. Yeah. No. We'll, we'll leave that to the, the shoe people. You can buy your leather from us and then find your lasts elsewhere. Lisa Sorrell. Yeah, Lisa she, Sorrell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Over in Oklahoma. I know when the Justin Boot Factory closed in Cassville. Oh, actually, I might know somebody that's got some boot last that might be for sale. Um, Dean Woody. Dean Woody. He bought, I think, like a garbage truck full of boot lasts from the from Justin Boot. Dean in quite a while. Justin Boot replaced their last. Uh, I don't know. I I just think the factory here was closing, and they didn't oh. maybe need them at their other one, or at the, wherever else they were making their boots. Tony, you want to answer me about where that pattern is? Do you like it, or do you need to fiddle with it? I did answer. Did you? 
Yeah, that's not right. Okay. I need a picture of going on it. Yeah. Well, as soon as, as soon as the bag is done, you get a picture. It will end up on the free pattern place on our website. Free, free. I don't know. I'm, we're so close, but I don't think I'm going to have enough to make it. Uh, go to about here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just stop short of this somewhere. Okay. Okay. Now I'm ready to lace with. Oh, we're just going to have a lacing party. <laughs> a lace, didn't I, didn't a lace I, off. Yeah. Did I tell you guys we were going to do that? Yeah, it was a lot of leather. Uh, didn't even set up old cameras. <laughs> yeah, Isaac was like, where do I put this camera? Oh, yeah. <laughs> This was the hardest part for me. This, this inside part. Oh, yeah. So that's where you're going to start? Yeah. <laughs> Get the hard part over with. Well, it's always easier to do this before you put it together. Zero. What's going on with them? See that kangaroos? Oh, hey. How's summer treating you down in Australia? Is it summer in Australia? I think so. No, no they get they get cold. snow. Zero has cold with us that it gets cold there. Yeah, I've seen it because that guy, that sheath maker that I love, he he's in Australia, and sometimes he wears a coat <laughs> and a hat. <laughs> I mean, even the desert gets cold at night. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad you're doing better. He had a stroke. Oh, my goodness. I'm pretty sure that's what's in my future. Pretty much most of my, most of the people that have come before me have had a stroke. Really? So, yeah, that's. Eat well. Mm. Eat well. This zero is in Kansas. Oh. All right. Well, how's the weather in Kansas? I'm sure it's similar to here. All right, Denny. Okay. I think I'm pretty well to that spot. Okay. Pull this lace. I will help. Here, I'll trade. Okay. Here, I'll just... You're welcome to it. <laughs> <laughs> Go back here. Now, to splice this, we were talking about not gluing the edge, but you, you see here where that came apart. Mm hmm You got a lacing fit there? Yeah, I've got a lacing fit. Use a sharp nail, whatever you've got. Okay. It doesn't have to be a fit, but a fit is very nice. Without a fit, I would be having a fit. Snow packed Bob Melting. We have not seen snow yet. There was snowing when I left Kansas City on Saturday. My wife went to pick up her granddaughter in Nevada, or in Lockwood, which is about to probably 30 or 40 miles from Springfield. Okay. And it was snowing slightly there. Mm-hmm. You hear that, Lockwood? we got a Lockwood pretty close to us. Ours is Lockwood, Missouri, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this is obnoxious with this handle. Yeah, very. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. 
You gotta pull the lace one way and then pull it back through the handle to go the other way. Yeah. Oops. Don't do that. I'm sorry, Luna. No, she's still right there. She's figuring it out. This is a great project. Oh, good. It is a very cute bag. I think it's going to be pretty cool like, when it's done. <laughs> Zero said they had nine inches of last Saturday. So it seems like summer's going fairly quick. What part of Australia is Zero mm -hmm. from? No, he's in Kansas. Zero's in Kansas? What am I thinking? Yeah, about? he just said the Zero. Who was this... in Kansas? Oh, that was Razor Blades. Oh. That is right. Didn't they? Didn't you guys both used to hang out? That's probably. Maybe that's why it was. Razor blade. Sorry, Zero. You want to move to Kansas, Zero? I mean, to Australia? <laughs> I to don't know what we're going to do to help you with that, but. Kansas. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get everybody on the, on the same page here in a minute. No, we won't. Okay. Yes, razor blades is in Australia, but I think they, I think they went away at the same time. White, white. Keep it open. Nice. Not. Oh yeah, didn't we offer to sail him up here so he could sail us back home? Well, like where you want to meet us, we'll meet you at a coast. At a coast. Tell us where to go. I'll meet you on the bank. Like. <laughs> Thanks, Chevy. I'm not sure what was said, but some. Mm. Looks like Dean is also out in some bad health. Well, Ron, keep us updated. All right, so after you make it up to that edge, Jenny, do you just keep going? Up to which edge? Yes. Okay. Yes. But see, the reason I had to count on both parts was so I knew knew how long to make the gusset and where to start it and where to end it. Yeah. You want things to be pretty symmetrical. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise, like I said, you're just guessing at it. <laughs> I mean, you can measure all you want to, but leather is... Leather is yeah. so uh, inconsistent as far as the way it stretches and shrinks. Number of holes is the only way. Sometimes you just got to count things. Yeah. Ryan, just email us. Except, except we've been that's we've been figuring it out. I mean, there was a lot of stuff going on. There was a lot of things being said. So just. If you do have something on your live shopping that you didn't think that you bought or you don't want or whatever, just shoot us an email. We'll get it taken care of. Between I have something on my live shopping I didn't buy. Well, I actually haven't bought any of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, just shoot us live at Springfield something Leather. Didn't just let us know. We'll get it fixed. And That's what we do. We've hit our limit of fixing orders. <laughs> Liz will fix that. Liz will do everything. It's fine. Tony told me I could fill all the orders yesterday. I had the sheet for the question. Yeah, you did. It's not. Listen. Yeah, he did. Oh, he yeah, but that's like two hours of work versus like days of filling orders. I don't feel like it's comparable. Well, Brian, do you not want it on there? I'll use it eventually. Guys, if anyone's interested, I count it perfectly. Yeah! <laughs> Good Great. job, Denny. Hey, I'm uh, hey. Let me 
sun comes up, the rooster has to crow, you know. It's it's built in. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sakes. Here, I thought you only bought one thing. Yeah, that's too much. What yeah. you need to say, Lockwood, is that you're going to play it before every stream. It's your intro now. Tell you what, Denny, I think I could use a stitching pony right now. Yeah. <laughs> that might be good. And right here, you guys, at the end of this gusset, I think I'm going to go through this one hole two times. Just to reinforce it? Yeah. That's where it will want to come apart. I wonder how we feel about moving the table forward. Thanks. You work here. No, no. I mean, yeah, we could do that. I feel like the path is way late. What are we doing? Alright, that should be that should be plenty. Alright. Enjoy your dinner, Omar. You don't you don't have to just eat for ten minutes. William, who was in my class Saturday, mm -hmm. he's also one of the Yes. Who's talking about Omar. He and Omar are good buddies on the Well, I didn't really want anyone to hear. <laughs> <laughs> he's just talking to me right now. Oh sorry, well just tell me I'll be Anyway, tomorrow. William and Omar are Converse a lot online mm -hmm. while they watch our videos. I think that William's son-in-law may be from the same close to where Omar is at. I think we did discover that. Where are you at, Omar? He's at he's Al at dinner. Harry. That sounds right. Well, William was singing your praises. He said you're a very nice craftsman. And I will sing William's praises. He did very good in class. He won two times. Sorry. Denny's working on his inside voice. Liz doesn't have one of those, so. <laughs> Did you get called on that when you were in school a lot in kindergarten? Um, you know, I think I've developed my... I, I wasn't this loud when I was younger. I kind of... It grew... I, I grew into it. I don't know. I feel like I was a quiet child. I, th I think. You got tired of that, didn't you? Yeah, that's no fun. <laughs> Who really remembers how they were as a child? Do you remember how you were as a child? No. Right? Like, I don't... I don't know. I mean, Isaac probably does, because that was like two years ago. But. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was a pretty perfect child, to tell you the truth of what I remember of myself. <laughs> Which is nothing. <laughs> Denny got to see Amy. <laughs> oh, he, yes. He I just did. happened to tootle out on retail. Well, I think Aaron told me that Amy was. Mm. So you heard it through the grapevine. Yes. That, that was nice of Aaron. Amy looks like she's doing well. She is. And Henry has grown like a weed. Yeah.
was 15, I think. Time flies. Freshman in high school. Sure does. So this part's not so bad. And just push the little tongue in and it's easier to lace here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going around the tip of this. Okay, go through that hole two times, go through the next hole two times. Okay, so first one, all three of them? No, just, just this the one? one on the very end and the next one. Okay. That's the way I do it anyway. All right, come up here. To make it, because I still have quite a bit of room here, so, nope. that and then we're going to go back through the same hole. Do you ever punch a round hole? Kevin likes to punch a round hole. Uh, no? No, I don't. Uh, he just it wallers might, it out. It might help. Yeah, I did waller it out. And back through that same hole. Back through my V. Son of a gun. Don't let your lace get twisted. All right, so we got that through that hole twice, and then I'll go through the next hole twice yep. to make it around the other side of the tip here. Yep. That fills in. When you go around that, that tight corner like that, it kind of spreads the lace out. Mm -hmm. and, and plus it makes, makes the angle of your lace really steep. So if you go through those two holes twice, it fills in a little bit of those empty spaces, plus it straightens up your the angle of your lace. Also getting down to a uh, short tail here. Yeah, I would go a couple more. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They're gambling again. Who's gambling? The Twitchers. Andrew, you up! <laughs> Dean did very, or uh, William, how did William do in your class? He did good. He did good. And he said he did very well. All right, maybe one more? Yeah, go okay. another one. And then go through that. And then. I'll spread that apart for you. And we'll switch again. Okay. <laughs> it's musical lacing today because yeah. I don't splice. You know, if Kevin was here, he would make you splice. Probably. See, I whispered that. <laughs> Kevin made us cheese dip for Monday. Oh, did he? He did. He, he wasn't even, he had to come in special on Sunday. Well, I don't actually know if he came in special, but he did come in. He, he likes to come in on Sundays and work anyways. That's his special time with Becky is they roll bundles together. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that man is a workaholic. In any case, he came in on Sunday and he brought it because he has been gone the last two days. I bet if you, I bet if you make some of that cheese dip for, for Mary June, you'll fix her knee right up. I bet it would. It'll cure all ills. I bet it would. Which I have forgotten that I said I was going to send out the recipe, but I think it's, is it on the website? We'll have to just get it on the website. It should be on there. I 
It's okay, Luna. Sorry, Luna. I'm done. It was just a short one. No. I mean, I think I'll get the front finished, and then you could probably just take a picture of that and just act like it's done. I'm good at acting. We we good at Photoshop. Well, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna have to do that one more time. Yeah, you bring me a stick and you leave it here. <laughs> So Denny, do you think do you think lacing is such a popular leather assembly trick or mechanism because sewing machines are expensive and for a long time they were not really like I mean in the 70s like every kit that you got was a laced kit, you know? Like when I think about the old Tandy kits and even the stuff that we do today, all of all of those projects are laced. Well, I I think it was a fad then. Mm -hmm. It's Along with buck stitching, and then all of that went out for a long while. Yeah. A long while. But now buck stitching is all the rage. All the rage for people. <laughs> and uh, I think the lacing is coming back, too. I just, I don't know, I love the lace. I just like the way it looks. This makes this stuff look. Luna. It is. I don't know if it's faster than hand sewing. Oh, it's not. <laughs> but it does add quite the flair. Do you think lace is is a stronger assembly or the same assembly? Yeah, I think hand it's sewing? stronger. I think it's stronger. Yeah. But for one thing, yeah. Uh, I'll say it's stronger, but it, it is a wear point. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason it's stronger, though, is because your holes are much further apart. Oh. Stitching, you, you uh, like uh, tear on the dotted line, you know? Yeah. But, you know, like I said, this is a wear point. I was going to say a lot of times people will come in and they'll have a wallet that they've had for years. And really the only thing is wrong with it is in that fold where the wallet folds in half or three times or whatever that lace is breaking down. Right. But they usually bring it in because they love it so much. Mm-hmm. All right, Denny. Guess what? You ready again? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I just like taking a kid fishing. Will you take <laughs> my hook? <laughs> uh, I've only ever been fishing like once in my life. You're joking. Nope. I oh. took a summer school course at MSU. A fishing course? Well, no. It was, uh, it was kind of like an outdoorsy course that we got our, our hunting and fishing permits. So like they hosted, it was something I signed up for because I did summer school since like the, I don't know, fifth grade, because I'm weird and nerdy like that. And um, it was, I mean, it was a lot of fun. Like we went out, I caught some tiny little fish in a pond and I got a permit for that year. <laughs> Yeehaw. And then we went out to Bull Shoals Lake and we did some sciencey things. Like we like tested the soil and we did like that kind of stuff. And Bull Shoals was interesting. There was a lot of bugs, which I didn't love, but <laughs> it was fine. Um, really, I think that's the only time I've been to Bull Shoals. So did you but, get your hunter safety permit too? Yes. Is that what you Yeah, did? we took a little course. We learned all the things. I don't, I never used it, obviously. <laughs> obviously. 
but I got it. You have it. Yeah, I think that was my, like my, maybe eighth or seventh to eighth grade that summer. See, I'm old enough where I didn't have to get one. (laughs) I'm sorry. It wasn't a thing back in your day? No, when they started doing it. You know, I was, had already been hunting for quite a while. Does that mean you got grandfathered in? Do you have to get yeah. one now? No. No? I won't have to get No. Well, aren't you special? I am. I am very special. <laughs> Isaac, does that make you a little jealous? Oh, yeah. I know a few guys that are that old. <laughs> <laughs> the new test is so annoying. It's so annoying. Uh, What's even worse is the test I had to take to drive a boat. Oh, my. They got to do what? I had to take a test to be able to drive a boat. And oh, was yeah? The dumbest thing ever. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize that. I still was cracking up at the fact that the one time I was on fishing was for school. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most list thing. I was fishing one time. It was for school. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> oh, that's great. I was not impressed. <laughs> Just, no, he just thinks that it's like, it, it fits. It fits. The only time Liz did a hunting thing was for summer school. <laughs> yeah, for, not even for school, for summer school. <laughs> for summer school. It was fun. I mean, I like doing outdoorsy things. I just don't do them very much. Tom is going to Grand Junction uh, on Friday. Do you need anything, Denny? Would you like to put it in order? For anything from Grand Junction, any old places you'd like a picture or two of, a poem he could write for you uh, about Grand Junction? I'm trying to think of my a old headstone address. he could take a picture a of. Head- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, Where I'm are your parents re- buried? In Ash Grove. Okay, here. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to think of my old address in Grand Junction. Give me a good one. It was on the Redlands. Take a picture of the the Colorado National Monument. <laughs> it's cool. It was right across the road from where I lived. It was, okay. It was like a miniature uh, Bryce Canyon or something like that. Hmm. All sorts of sandstone rock formations and rattlesnakes. And there are Indian petroglyphs there. Oh, that's cool. It's It's nice. It's a national monument. Oh, just like you. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's something. <laughs> You're a national leather treasure. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think so. Of course I think so. <laughs> Ryan's with you. He's grandfathered into the hunting situation. All right. Yeah. There's a few things to see in Grand Junction. Chrome on the Range, which is a chrome buffalo sculpture. John Otto. He'll take some pictures for you. Uh, Big Drop 5, which is a bicycle sculpture. A pig eating corn. Cool! A big old bullfrog. (laughs) An eaten apple. An eaten apple? Yeah. All right. What's what's the significance of an eaten apple? I don't know. Just Johnny Appleseed from there? What are we doing? It's no. a local artist. Okay. Apples aren't a big deal, but peaches are a very big deal. They're in Junction. I do like some peaches and cream. Every time I see peaches and cream ice cream, like, I always want some of that. <laughs> do they have those great big peaches like this? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're so Tom, sweet. send us some peaches. Yeah, send us some Grand Junction peaches. Is it peach season? Can you swing by Glenwood Springs? Yeah, I've been there too. That's, where, that's where Doc Holliday's at. I saw his grave. I walked up the mountain. They don't actually, they don't know where he's buried up there. But they took a wild guess and said, we'll call this his grave site. <laughs> I don't know if I talked about this, but when we went out to Sheridan this year, um, the guys were talking about Tombstone, and I had never seen the movie. 
And I know everybody's going to freak out out in the world. Um, I have seen Tombstone. It's a great movie. And so we watched it when we were in Sheridan. Huh? It doesn't seem like the kind of movie. I mean, I've watched... Um, my uncle is a huge Western guy, and my and my grandpa was too. So anytime we'd go out to Oklahoma to visit the farm, like in the evenings, there would always be some sort of a Western on. So maybe I saw it at some point. I don't know, but I didn't really pay attention. Um, no, it, it wasn't. And even when I watched it, guys, it was, it was all right. It was on in the background. I didn't. No, I watched it. She was busy twirling there's, her thumb. I think there's two different Tombstone it's, movies, though. Well, it was Did the one with Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer and... And all, pe- all the people. Yeah, everyone was in it. It was like 29-year-old 80s top actors. <laughs> Sam Elliott was in it. Yeah. In any case, I watched it. So now I know who you're talking about when you say things like that. But <laughs> I, I don't. It was fine. All right. That's probably enough banter for one video. Thanks. <laughs> Come on, Chevy. Are you telling us to get off of here? Palisade peaches. Palisade, yep. Man, that sounds really good right now. There's also... Palisade is on the east side of Grand Junction. And Fruta is on the west side. Fruta? Fruta. F-R-U-T-A, I believe. It's like they were trying to get to Frida, but they... (laughs) They ended up in Fruta. (laughs) Wrong, put a wrong letter in there. And I don't know if they grow a lot of fruit in Fruita. I don't know why they call it Fruita. Probably some of these weird names. Because Fruita is kind of out on the desert more. All right, I'm down to another tail, and we're getting into a funky spot. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We did do a, uh, did we do a pull cue case? Uh, no, we did a fishing rod. Yeah. But I feel like it's Which very... I feel like that's a pull cue case, but you just don't put a fishing pole in it. Yeah, you could retrofit our fishing rod for a pull cue, um, case. We have thought about it. It's in the works. The, That's the next video we're shooting for okay. pattern. It's the next pattern that we will have. Our next big Okay, pattern. it is something that we're working on. Look how fun that is. That's perfect. That's a perfect size. For me, of course. Yeah. You wouldn't want to wear a lot of coats and stuff and put your arms through that. Because when someone tried to snatch it from you, they could tear your arm completely off. <laughs> <laughs> this lace is super reinforced. <laughs> if you did want to do that, you could put... Like a like a piece of metal in there, or, or whatever. There is. I they forgot do to make mention those. that. I put two, two pieces of quarter inch kangaroo lace in between these two layers. Oh, okay. Just to kind of stiffen it up and add a little bit of strength to it. You just had some extra kangaroo lace laying yeah. around. Yeah. Piece. Did you glue it in? Yeah. I, actually, I used a, a spray adhesive. No. no. What did I use? I don't know. We weren't there with double sided tape. I just. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That was a question, Denny. What did you use to glue it on? <laughs> double sided tape. Pasting <laughs> tape, some might call it. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> it's tape that is sticky on both sides. Yeah, don't that? use it on your turkey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We tried that a while back. It just turned out real gummy. Yeah. <laughs> that turkey was hard to chew. Yeah. Just, I'm still chewing a piece of it. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, it is, it's getting close and we're uh, yeah, just, we're starting to banter more. Splicing and lacing. So, um, that's, that's pretty much it. So once we get this laced and that laced in that little hole there, then you just do the same thing we're doing yeah. here, but together. Yes. Which is going to be even more inconvenient because now you'll have something that you have to kind of, fi- well, maybe it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll it'll be all right. Yeah. Actually, it'll be easier, I think. Because everything's already kind of yeah. situated. Yeah. Yeah. So 
but then you just lace it all up, guys. You just spend the next five hours of your life lacing this whole thing up. And then once you get it all assembled, as I'm assuming, when you'll install the... Yes, um, the top. The yeah. So this will come over when that is out. So it'll probably just go right at the end of that yeah. flower, pretty much. Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. So right there, and then your little clasp will fold over. Look how gorgeous that is, guys. Mm-mm-mm. And then the strap is all the way done. So he did a graduated strap here. I'll try to have it done so you can show it on Friday or whatever you do. Okay. That sounds good. So that's just the strap all laced up, lined with just more two to three ounce because you got to line it to lace it. That's how that works. Yeah, plus it makes it to... Makes it more flexible when you line it yep. for some reason. And then once this is done, these will, I assume you'll install a swivel snap. Your swivel snap. Yeah. Will you lace this up too? Uh, yeah, I'll just lace. Do yeah, it. there's not going to be any, the only hardware are going to be these two yep. rings and two rivets. Ooh, that's going to be a tight fit. So that'll get laced right up there. Well, I can either Maybe do that way. or put, uh, it'll be, there'll be swivel snaps. Mm -hmm. Oh, there. right. You'll just rivet maybe or lace up no, the swivel I'll lace snap. It, yeah. Yeah. And then you'll just snap it on so you can snap it back off if you don't want it. And that'll be it. So, well, yeah, you should be able to lace this in the next two days. Oh, yeah. I have confidence. You're a pretty good laser. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll get that all finished up. And then once it's finished, we'll be able to shoot a nice picture for the cover of the pattern instruction. Well, just pattern because there's no instructions because this, is, We've this is what it is. We've you adequately. Exactly. You can do it. <laughs> Uh, the only thing we don't tell you is where to put the hardware, but you figure that out on your own as you assemble, depending on what hardware you are putting on it. So, just got to make sure that wherever you place it, this strap will come over and catch. All You know, all this stuff, everybody says, well, exactly where do I do that? It's, don't overthink it. Just put it where it needs to go. Yeah, just do whatever needs to be done, guys. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Not only have we included this for free, the banter is free at no charge. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Alrighty. Um, well, everybody have a great day. If you have not paid your estimate yet on your live shopping, don't forget to go do that. Go find it in your emails. It'll come from live at springfieldleather.com. Um, we're going to get back to filling orders, and uh, we'll not see you tomorrow because we'll still be filling orders for Monday. We're not going to do that twice in one week because we're not that crazy. Um, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I already had a schedule. Did you? No. Nope. Okay. Didn't think so. <laughs> He's a little crazy, but he didn't go that far. But anyways, we, we will see you on Friday with something. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.